Hello traders welcome to session 71 how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge how to average a thousand dollars a day for thousands not enough usually for the young guns it's not you just simply increase your position size you add more contracts and of course what I teach here you can apply the exact same setups to uh, virtually any futures markets Forex or stock market now I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, you can pause the recording if you wish to read all about the risks of trading now if you haven't already and I'll just very very quick advertisement you can download my free day trading ebook in the description link below if you haven't got that uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a big like thank you and just a 30 second advertisement um, if you like what you see in what I'm about to show you which you should be jumping out of your skin with joy maybe slight exaggeration but uh, for $197 you can gain all of my indicators um, there's dozens there's over 30 powerpoints uh, there's over 200 hours of uh, recap and training sessions uh, all for $197 there's nothing else like it out there traders uh, I've been day trading now for 28 years this is what I do for a living uh, and for a bonus you can also come and join 200 other traders uh, in my private group coaching sessions that is uh, I run uh, what is it uh, eight sessions a month let me think of how many I run because I run both the coaching room a private coaching room and I run a live trading room so you can attend the coaching sessions there are uh, twice a week 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesday evenings if you can't uh, attend live they are recorded and after the first month um, uh, which I throw that in you can drop me an email if you wish to then continue at $97 a month cancel at any time some of my members have been with me uh, in the coaching sessions for seven years to keep their skill set right up there so basically it's priceless what you will learn okay into today's session so once again another four trades for four wins now you'll see that time after time video after video I sort of typically will take between three and ten trades okay four out of four four out of four you'll see regularly because I'm looking for the for the highest probability setups and I want to get in get out and finish okay I don't know about you but I just want to see that cash in your account I want to hear the I want to hear the cash register ring and then I want to be out of it okay I love day trading but I don't want to sit in front of the computers for, in, in, for hours and hours so um, I'm pretty much a scalper which means typically I'm going to be in a trade for you know anywhere from one minute to maybe 15 20 minutes is sort of my maximum okay so what I'm going to do is in a moment explain these in detail now some of what I'm about to show you so I'm going to explain the four trades but some of this some of you would have seen my videos would have already seen this but I want to quickly explain explain this to those that haven't so realistically to trade per account you need to have between three and the four thousand dollars on the NQ to trade per contract what I'm about to show you and that is you never want to risk any more than two percent and you know what I lose a lot of potential buyers of my courses but bad luck because if I don't follow the money management rules and follow um, you know really what's required in becoming a successful day trader we're not going to make it anyway now I will say though if you've got a very very high probability strategy maybe it's 95% maybe it's kicking but okay I accept that but for the majority of traders we don't want to be risking more than 2% for a whole lot of reasons but the power of this is by trading them the NQ and only going for two hundred dollars a day, you got the potential within eleven weeks to be earning ten grand a week. And how the compound table works, you only start trading an additional contract every time you double your money. So when you got seven thousand, now you can start trading two. You get another three and a half thousand, you can start trading three contracts. So the difference here is unlike some things I've seen uh, on the web, is just ridiculous compounding. Um, our results is it possible absolutely however let's be 
realistic we're, we're humans we're not machines or at least most of us are anyway now what if you don't have three and a half thousand the great news is start on the micro the micro is 10% of the value you're going for only $20 a day now one thing I do want to say while I'm here just looking at that I'm talking about the four tick here which is only tradable during the after hours market okay and as you lead get into the London session and New York this time frame is far too small to trade on the NQ right no problem problems on the ES or Royal or other markets but what I love about the NQ and the micro NQ is the volatility we get these brilliant moves and, and it's five dollars a tick but I just wanted to uh, mention that because sometimes I get an email oh it's not tradable during New York well it is if you increase your time frame and of course I teach you how to do that and what time frames I've got a formula that you should be using but the point here is uh, just going for $20 a day within 12 weeks you've now got four and a half thousand in your account now you can start trading the big contract actually how many weeks was that that was uh, 11 weeks sorry in 11 weeks now what the bottom line is here traders that if you start off with 350 you go for $20 a day in 11 weeks your account size is now 44 uh, now you can start trading the big contract and now your account size uh, in 22 weeks on the basis of your average 200 a day is up there at 44,000 where will you be in 22 weeks that is in less than six months time this is the true potential of successful day trading if you do it right and that's the there's only one way to master the art and to be a success trader is to do it right from day one okay now before we get back to the charts a couple of key things first of all uh, and for a new trader or someone new to my videos this may seem gob gobbledygook may seem like a language you've never heard this isn't rocket science once you understand what these are aha uh -huh, well you'll have these aha uh -huh, moments ah now I get it now I get it and thanks to modern software these can all be plotted on your charts automatically but I want to know um, where my pivot levels are because virtually and, and all of these actually because all of these levels become what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy because so many of us professionals we trade into pivots we trade into the prior days open high low and close levels these are all really important trading levels so let's get to the charts here okay so uh, I'm going to explain the four trades here and uh, we'll just see I'm just looking at the charts here there's not a whole lot uh, it's fairly quiet in the market but we might just have a quick look at the charts as well the live charts but let's just see how we go here so first of all I uh, see that magenta line down the bottom here this is the low of day okay so remember on this list here I said here um, where's your uh, where are we here current days high and low and the reason is we quite often will bounce off those levels all the time and in fact your some of your best divergence trades will come off those levels you'll get some fantastic divergence trades off pivot levels your prior days open high and close levels right so you can get some really great trading opportunities off those now this is what I call a loaded trade a loaded trade is where we've got you know having one or two reasons for taking a trade may be okay but when you've got five or six reasons for taking a trade that's even better so what I've got here is I've got uh, for members watching this we had a, a t12 on the anchor chart too we're off for low was I had double divergence there's a whole lot of reasons to take this trade and thank you very much now I use these levels as targets now that is a 200 EMA so I got in not exactly where that line is I actually got in here came down against me oh where's my stop loss on this time frame it's one tick below the low okay so this is why it always gets back to your account size so you've got to have the right account size so you can put your right stop loss in and I'm out of the 200 so on my matrix on my ATM 
and most modern trading platforms now allow you to have your targets put in there automatically uh, where your stop loss goes where you go to break even but at times I'll adjust those levels particularly um, uh, if say I've got a major area of support or resistance in front of me and even this one which I'll explain in a moment I'll get out earlier if need be why because we quite often bounce here I got out we continued up a little bit then we reversed now here <laughs> uh, I want you to notice here that I've got a higher high what's the footprint to a new trend or well, footprints full stop to a trend the series of higher highs and higher lows or lower lows and lower highs now in this particular case I had a um, little higher high not not major little high high here sorry little high low I was already in this trade anyway I then step we had a severe thunderstorm <laughs> at, at this time and actually stepped out of my office just to look outside for a moment so I stepped out and missed this system now remember this is all within two minutes anyway so uh, higher high higher low thank you very much so well no, not thank you very much because I missed it but <laughs> that would have been uh, just our typical trade now I then rallied up and I then had what we call a t19 now a t19 is sort of like you'll notice I use codes it just makes it easier rather than going through the long names um, and so a t19 is a minor divergence trade uh, when you've only got divergence on your entry chart and here uh, I targeted the 34 follow the gold and we'll nearly always get a bounce at that level which is exactly what happened now in that particular case I only got out with a tick of profit on five lots okay I've actually had some I managed this manually so when I come down now here it's a counter trend trade I want you to notice that my EMAs are trending very strongly I want to get out of that okay when it's uh, like that so um, that's what I did so I picked up a few ticks uh, oh, and I then re-entered my apologies everyone I actually got out down here did a little better than what I thought just there I'm thinking there but I then jumped on trade three here read the instructions if all else fails so I, I actually had a 3413 long here thank you and I took that up and I front run the prior days close one two three four five six uh, no actually let me take that back I actually extended my target let me explain this one of the things we do whenever we take a trade we say to ourselves do we have blue skies ahead and what I mean by that what's in front of us do we have clouds do we have to use our instruments or look at this here we've got blue skies now here we have blue skies all the way up to that black line okay now the black line is the uh, the current days open and that white line is the prior days close now these become what we call price magnets in fact we've got the pivot magnet trade special way we trade pivot magnet trades one of our members <laughs> is Stephen prepared a complete PowerPoint that we use and um, Ali calls it a T28 to keep it within our codes so I actually here I extended my target and went for an extra three or four ticks why because just above me was major resistance and so traders will usually buy into these levels now I also front run this by a couple of ticks now front running means that when you're buying into a key area or selling into a key area uh, you know that you good chance will bounce but you get out before that level because remember when we're trading we're in a lineup unless we're using a market order perhaps on our exits we're in a lineup of traders in front of us now I know there's going to be a lot of traders who want to get out at, at the high or right at that level now the problem with that is that I might be 20th or 30th or 100th uh, uh, traders in front of me 
so I want to front run and get out before most other traders get out now you don't always even hit it sometimes you'll miss it others have got everyone's got the same sort of um, uh, thought pattern there as well so in that case actually I went for a, a larger target so it was a nice little winner so here uh, a nice reversal strategy set up a 2DA uh, members you know that's on the anchor chart too 2DA nice little uh, and you had a little double top there as well uh, see that on my MACD now this is called a platinum MACD which is a zero lag okay and for members watching this yes we had a couple of t10s there as well but remember I was already in this trade now I had trade number four now trade number four was also a no-brainer because um, we came down we then rally back up again tick through by a couple more ticks I then had even greater divergence at that stage in fact um, a 2 dash 3d question it's a 2 or a 3d that means I got divergence on a couple of time frames I was also bouncing off the prior days close and today's open which um, is really excellent support resistance levels okay so it can be really good uh, now then I then hit my target in fact I got out of this trade a little bit earlier and when I've got a 2 or a 3d I target the 89 EMA we nearly always will come down and hit the 89 probably 80% of the time if not more and I actually got out early and I was for selfish reasons because on on my um, uh, ATM I could see it was it already hit my $1,000 a day target so I just want to get out get that cash register ring but it came down nicely and then we had a really nice which I wasn't in I'd hit my day's target I was in a there's a really nice 2BD set up uh, there straight um, straight after that now here's an example see we rallied back up again and then we missed these key levels by a couple of ticks by four or five ticks in fact what you'll actually find traders is that your first test is the best test it's like a channel if you've got a channel and say um, the rules of a channel are if you've got an uptrending channel you want to buy the lows but your first test of the low or bounce is the best likewise if you've got a downtrending channel you want to sell the highs and your first test or your first bounce will generally be your best okay so very very important information there um, so traders look we are nearly 20 minutes into uh, this video so just want to say this that trading truly is a pattern solving exercise you know t19s your 2ds 2bds um, uh, um, just just here uh, well that that would have been a 2b by the way these are all patterns we're following what the market is doing with our EMAs and the shape and the great thing about humans is we learn patterns very very easily see that there danger zone why our EMAs are flat so one of the questions you ask yourself all the time do I have a fanning of the EMAs or do I have spaghetti a fanning is where you see your EMAs fanning apart here they're fanning but then we get a bounce here they're starting to fan here they're fanning okay so learning that is very very important learning these patterns now I just want to show you this on the just before we do finish up on the four tick okay so just here on the four tick NQ so we are live right now um, so the same chart on the way down we just had uh, that and let me just tell you what that was just here I've got my anchor chart just there so just there for members watching this this is basically a, uh, a 34b bouncing off the pivot come on down you've got a slingshot trade uh, just there look at the divergence you've got here on your entry chart and your anchor chart one what is that that is your classic 2d pattern now just there I mentioned the t10 there is if you miss that you had a beautiful t10 
just there now what I want to point out is this remember a few minutes ago I said your 89 and 200 EMAs are important well usually you'll get a bounce off the 89 if you break through your next area to test will be the 200 and look what happens just here up we come okay and usually you'll get some resistance at that level thank you very much okay and so up here I want you to notice here we're bouncing off the pivot at this stage we've got a pivot bounce but I want you to look back down here now we've got divergence again okay so this is called a double top or a t7 with divergence now usually you'll quite often find when we get and I should before I go there what I was about to say see now I've got the um, flat 200 and basically the 89 is right in a quite a challenging area and the reason I bring that up is we call that the ice cream um, uh, uh, the ice cream sandwich zone and the reason we call it that is one of our members um, uh, son who's uh, 16 is trading with his mum and he said just think of an ice cream sandwich that is when you've got a flat 200 and a flat 89 you've got to be really cautious of those areas but one thing I do want to point out here is note here we've now got a new higher high new higher low new higher high restricted at the moment by the pivot we then come back down so you had a nice little scalp there and this is where you can then start applying things like your Fibonacci retracements just here so if I go to the high of that there right not quite a fib it was a 38.2 percent for so for our fib traders um, uh, you had a little retracement there for newer traders this is the area for us to at the moment uh, actually let me tell you whether or not before I say what I was going to say no it's a 2b so you've actually got a 2b um, just here now a 2b is where we've got double bounces but what I want to say is when we take any trade remember what I mentioned what's in front of me what I do have in front of me right here is what the pivot so if I took this trade I would truly be looking at scalping this into the pivot why we nearly always see we didn't quite hit it but see how now I've bounced and see how now I've got divergence so let's see what happens here as and before we do that as we come up to a pivot I'll usually front run or get to break even so say if you're very close to a pivot or a 200 EMA or um, uh, that hot pink there that's a prior days low uh, that's where we look at we've got to be very very careful of these levels and we look at front running or getting to break even just in case we get a bounce so let's see what happens there as we come up so this has just happened a couple of minutes ago come up come up come up and look what we've got right there okay we've got a pivot bounce now this is now live here note how we've got a flat 89 and a flat 200 EMA so we've got to be very cautious with this level in fact this is almost like a consolidation box right now now how do we know when we break out of these levels well first of all for new traders sit on the hands when you get these levels see this here this is what you're looking for all right this is called the sweet spot you've got a nice trend broken below the 200 thank you very much when we get deep pullbacks and we start going sideways we want to wait for either a new higher high and a new higher low or a new lower low and a new lower high okay anyway I've gone a lot further than what I was going to so bottom line is traders come and join me this isn't rocket science it really isn't it's looking for you know the right patterns and initially you want to take these you want to be looking for that that and that then as you develop your trading skills you can then start taking these reversals okay oh and this one this is a clear trending um, uh, trade so traders 
come and join me and hopefully I see you in my coaching program you can join in the description link below other than that go and visit my website make sure you like my video please and of course subscribe to my channel thanks to see you in the next video